A New Constitution for a New America A New Constitution for a New America by William MacDonald New York, uh, 1921 Copyright 1921, I think those books are out of copyright Contents, Chapter 1 the present Constitution, one, the Constitution of 1787, amendments is there in need of change, the only obstacle. To the federal system, starting on page eight, analysis of the federal system states as members of the union, the trend toward centralization. Three, rigidity versus flexibility, page 17. The rigidity of the American system, fixed terms of office, absence of responsibility, what the fathers did. Four, responsible government, page 25. Nature of responsible government, political evils in America today, the vice of the congressional system. Five, some objections considered, page 33. Alleged lack of popular control of government in Great Britain and France. Responsibility of the people. Will elections be too frequent? Disappearance of the two-party system. Six, our so-called cabinet, starting on page 47. The suggestion of seats in Congress for heads of departments. History of the American cabinet. Why seats in Congress would not give responsible government. 7. President and Premier, page 53. Powers and duties of the President. Actual extent of presidential power. Why the President should not control policy. 8. A responsible government in outline, page 61. Unnecessary changes to be avoided. Structure of Congress, Premier, and Cabinet. 9. The New Presidency, page 69. Qualifications of the President, Election, Military Powers, Control of Executive Departments, Pardons, Treaties, Appointments and Removals, Messages, Summoning and Adjourning Congress, Reception of Foreign Representatives, Execution of Laws, Commissioning of Federal Officers, Veto, Presidential Succession, Import of Proposed Changes. 10. The New Congress, page 90. Few structural changes necessary. Age of Senators, Residents, Secret Journals, Treaties, War and Peace, Revenue Bills. 11. Widening the Powers of Congress, page 101. Corporations, Immigration, Education, Marriage and Divorce, Budget, Economic Control, Internal Improvements, Recall. 12. The Voting System, page 117. Constitutional Provisions, State Regulations, why complete control of federal elections should be vested in Congress. Uh, Negro disfranchisement. Not sure what that's supposed to be. 13. A new basis of representation, page 127. The present artificial system, the system of occupational groups, practical application of group representation. 14. The Party System, page 140, Silence of the Constitution, Federal and State Laws, The Two-Party System, Why Two-Party Control Should Be Broken Down. 15. The States, page 149, State Powers Not Defined, Need of Readjustment and Clear Definition, States and Federal Law, Guarantee of a Republican Form of Government, Protection Against Domestic Violence, Religion, Assembly and Petition, Arms, Militia, Inspection Laws. 16. General Observation on the State, starting on page 166. 
centralization versus decentralization, federal usurpation, the prohibitory amendment, and states' rights. Where to draw the line? 17. The federal courts, starting on page 175. Constitutional provisions. The federal judiciary in practice. Cabinet control of appointments. Why judges should not be chosen by popular vote. What the courts need. Chapter 18. Jurisdiction of the federal courts. Page 186. Constitutional provisions. Need of administrative courts. Control of executive orders. Receiverships, injunctions, declaring laws unconstitutional. 19. Revision, not amendment. Page 202. Limitations of the amending power. The Constitution, an outgrown instrument. Objections to general revision. The interests to be considered are those of the whole people. 20. The Constitutional Convention. Page 218. The Constitutional Machinery for Revision. Specific Amendments. A Federal Convention. Right of the People to Change the Fundamental Law. Ratification by State Conventions, not by State Legislatures. Appendix. The Constitution of the United States. Page 232. I will actually read that next. Thank you.